Hey guys, John I was on here for Jan Sports and Jansports.org. How is it going? I'm here to make picks for uh, January 6th, 2012. And first of all, I do want to start off by saying last night I posted a preview of the AFC Wildcard Weekend. Um, check that out if you haven't already. I will actually put the video, uh, put a link to the video in this video. So um, it's either going to be right there. Or right there, or right there, there, whatever. Check it out. Um, I'm fairly proud of it. I did make some mistakes, so don't point those out, please. But I, I'm fairly proud of what I did in that video. Um, also, occasionally, from time to time, what I'll do is I will go through uh, my records and just make sure that the numbers are right, make sure, make sure that the overalls are right, and that's what I did last night, and the overalls were pretty much right, except, um, in, I believe it was, uh, either the NBA or college basketball, I actually gave myself one extra loss, so I had to take that back, but I'll gladly take back losses, and, uh, whatever, so let's move on to the action for today, we have a bowl game to pick, and well, I think it's going to be a really good bowl game, too, um, as a lot of them have been. Also, we've got NBA to pick and uh, college basketball. Great, great ESPN doubleheader for the NBA tonight. And that is exactly where we are going to start off is in the NBA. Uh, yesterday in the NBA, good day. We had one. We had a. We went after going uh, below 500 the January 2nd and January 3rd, where. We had a combined record of uh, 5 and 11. That was for January 2nd, January 3rd. Uh, January 4th, January 5th, the last two days, we are uh, 12 and 5. So, a little bit of a turnaround there. Uh, 8 and 4 on the 4th, and 4 and 1 yesterday. Let's take a look at the action now for today. There are quite a few games. Detroit and Philadelphia. I'm going to go with the 76ers. Uh, the Knicks and Washington, and the Knicks to beat the Wizards, New Jersey and Toronto, I'm actually going to go with the Raptors to beat the Nets, Atlanta and Charlotte, I am going to go with the Hawks, but I'm very, very leery about this one, and I'll tell you why, I'm leery about it, because, um, Atlanta, Atlanta played a thrilling, and I watched the game, it was an amazing basketball game, in fact, TNT's doubleheader did not go quite according to plan, because, uh, TNT missed the whole first half of the LA Laker game because the Miami Heat and Charlotte game was still going on with three overtime thriller. Um, I am going to go with the Hawks, but I'm a little bit nervous to see um, how they're going to play. They might be a little bit, um, a little bit winded, a little bit worn down. All right, uh, Indiana Pacers, Boston Celtics. Um, I'm actually going to go with the Pacers here. I'm a little bit rough to do so, but. Uh, I don't know, just click one in the wind and see what happens. Denver and New Orleans give me the Nuggets to beat the Hornets. So Cleveland and Minnesota give me the Timberwolves to beat the Cavaliers. Chicago and Orlando, this is the first game of the ESPN doubleheader. ESPN and ESPN3 at 8 o'clock Eastern Time is where you can see it. I've got uh, the Bulls actually beat the Magic in that game, but if he there as well. Houston takes on Oklahoma City. I'm going to go with Oklahoma City. Memphis takes on Utah. I'm going to go with the Jazz to beat the Grizzlies. Golden State takes on the LA Lakers. Give me the Lakers to uh, bounce back. I believe the Lakers lost yesterday, so give me the Lakers to bounce back. And uh, at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time, late night for me tonight, provided everything goes as it should, um, on ESPN, uh, Portland takes on Phoenix. So, um, ESPN, ESPN 3, 10.30 Eastern Time. I'm going to go with the Trailblazers in that game. Really, really having a lot of fun watching what I've seen um, from Portland this year. All right, let's move now to uh, the Bulls, college bowl game, the final four bowl games. Start today. Uh, there is a bowl game tonight, a bowl game tomorrow afternoon before NFL playoffs start. Don't worry. Uh, Sunday night, and then, of course, Monday night is the... Uh, BCS championship game that I am also looking forward to. Um, okay. What do we got going on here? We have, I know what we got going on. Uh, this is 
probably one of the games that I was most excited for, and still am, and I really don't think it's going to disappoint. Number 8, Kansas State, takes on number 6, Arkansas, the AT&T Cotton Bowl, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, tonight on Fox. I am going to go with Arkansas in the game. I think it'll be a good game. I think it'll be a close game, but I think in the end, Arkansas is just going to be a little bit too much. I think what we might see, and I could even be wrong in saying this, we will see a close game. Now, I think one of two things. Either we're going to see a close game all the way through, or we're going to see a close game, and towards the end, Arkansas is going to pull out a little bit. Um, that's what I think there. We, I am going to go with uh, Arkansas. Did I? I didn't do the overall NBA record, did I? I don't think I did. So let me do the first the, oh, the NBA right, overall record first, and then we'll do bowl. Um, so with the four and one in the NBA from January fifth, we are fifty one and thirty six on the year, five hundred and sixty six wins, three hundred and thirty losses is the over the overall record there. Uh, all right, and as far as the overall record for bowls goes, that looks like this. Um, we are continuing to do fairly well, even though we took a loss in the Clemson deal. A bad loss uh, in the Clemson deal, in the Orange Bowl. We are 22-9 and nine on the bowl year, and 32-12 and 12 lifetime. So there you go with that, which leads us to college basketball. Now here's what I've decided I'm going to do for college basketball for today. Uh, there are no top 25 games, um, and there's only seven uh, Division One games, and only, there's only seven Division One games, and four of them are on TV, so, uh, you know, are on ESPN3, you know, are on the, the play, the, the, the platform that we use, the basis of the platform that we use to pick, uh, of course, is if it's televised in any way, um, not locally, but if it's televised in any way nationally, such as, you know, CBS or, you know, whatever, ESPN, ESPN3, ESPN U, stuff like that, we pick them. Well, they're all, there's four of them that are like that. So we might as well just pick the other three. So we are going to pick all seven NCAA Division One games today. Wow, I took the long road to get there. All right, here we go. We are going to kick things off with Marist taking on Ryder. And I completely forgot uh, where I was going to go with that game, um, but I am going to go with uh, Marist. I'm usually good about remembering who I picked for stuff, but uh, Fairfield in Siena. I am going to go with Fairfield, Butler in Wright State. I'm going to go with Butler. Lipscomb in Belmont. I'm going to be Belmont. Valparaiso takes on Detroit. I'm going to go with Valparaiso. Um, Na uh, Niagara takes on Iona, and I'm going to go with Niagara. And last but not least, Chicago State takes on Air Force. Chicago State, I looked, is 0-14 on the year. Their closest loss was 7 points to DePaul, and the rest of them have all been below it for them. So uh, I'm going to go with Air Force to beat Chicago State. Alright, well, I had a little... Um, a couple of times in the video where I talked a little longer than what I should have or took the long route to get to something short. But anyway, nonetheless, we started the video. It's done. Um, like I said, somewhere, either right now or earlier in the video or throughout the whole video, there's a link for the AFC wildcard preview that was posted yesterday. You can also check it out on Facebook. Um, and then, coming up tonight is the NFC side. Uh, wildcard weekend. So, I am John Thompson at Jansports 100 and Jansports.org. I'm out. Peace, guys.